Hi, welcome. My name is Muhammad Faizan and I will be the instructor of this course. In this video lecture, I am going to show you how can we download and install a text editor for writing a code in PHP. There are lots of text editor like Sublime, Notepad++ and IDE like NetBeans Visual Studio. But in our series, I will use Breakit because it is an open source text editor. So let us start. You can search. Break it. This is the official website of Break It Text Editor. A modern open source text editor did understand web design. We can download by clicking on this button. So the downloading is completed. Go to the folder and click on the setup. Click on run. Here we can select the path but it is a default so we are not changing the path now. Click on next. Click on install. Do you want to allow the program to install software on this computer? Yes. Now click finish to exit. It is look like this. You can read about this bracket text editor on this website also. So from here we can open this text editor. These are the sample code and this is the sample page. So see you in next video. Hey my name is Mohammad Fezan and I will be the instructor of this course. In this video lecture I am going to show you how can we download and install Zem server. So first open your browser. Type Zem. You will get first link for Zem server download. Uh, the official website of Zem server is www.apachefriend.org. So open this link. On this page, you will get Zem server for window and the latest version of Zem server. By clicking on this download button, you can download the Zem server for window. And for Linux user, can download Zem server from this download button. And for Mac user, the latest version of Zem server can download by this download button. So I am using Windows 7, so I will download it from this button. So downloading file is completed. Now we can install the Zem server on our machine. Click on the setup of Zem server for installing. Click on yes. Click OK. Welcome to the Zem setup wizard. Click on next. These are all the components, so we don't need to uncheck this. Next, this is the default directory where Zem server will install. 
click on next then again next now ready to install click on next So setup has finished installing XAMPP on your computer. It is asking do you want to start the control panel now. Click on finish. You can select the language. Click on save. So this is the control panel of XAMPP server. From here we can start or stop the services which we want. So we will start Apache and MySQL for our projects or for learning the PHP go to computer and go to C drive and here we you will find XAMPP folder in the XAMPP folder here you will find a folder which name is htdocs in this htdocs folder we will keep our php files okay so this is the process of installing of xam server you can also start the control panel of xam server from here or you can stop the services of xam server for apache and mysql from here and you can also directly goes to the htdocs server from F, to the htdocs folder from here so i hope you will understand how can we install a xamp server in our computer so see you in next video I welcome my dear students in this video lecture and in this section we are going to learn a CRUD operations okay so PHP CRUD with PDO what is CRUD and PDO so CRUD is create read update and delete this is the full form of CRUD this is the operation we will perform with database using of PHP okay refers to the four major functions implemented in database applications so the first is create perform the insert statement to create a new record inside a database okay read reads the table records based on the primary key noted within the input parameter update executes an update statement on the table based on the specified primary key for a record within the where clause of the statement now the last is delete deletes a specified row in the where clause okay so these are all the create read update delete is for the crud okay now the pdo which will form is php data object pdo php data objects is an abstraction layer for your database queries and is an awesome alternative to my sqli as it supports 12 different database drivers this is an immense benefit for people and companies that need it however keep in mind that my sql is by far the most popular database so we will use prepared statement with my sql in our projects how pdo prepared statement works pdo prepared statement works like this so the first point is prepare an sql query with empty values as placeholders with either a question mark or a variable name with a colon preceding it for each value and the second is bind value or variables to the placeholders and the third is execute query simultaneously okay uh, these all the steps i will show you in the practical session how can we prepare 
a query and how can we use prepared statement in php using of pdo okay so the following drivers currently implemented the pdo interface you can see here the driver name and supported database these are all 12 drivers or database we can use with pdo this is the biggest advantage of pdo over the mysqli okay so you can see here there are 12 types of supported database Qubit, free tds firebird ibm db2 ibm informix dynamic server and mysql we will use this mysql in our project and the seventh is oracle call interface and odbc postgres ql and uh, 10th place sqlite 3 and sqlite 2 and in 11th microsoft sql server or sql azure and the 12th is 4d these are all 12 supported database we can use with pdo okay so php crud with pdo what is crud uh, for example we can take create mean insert means insert data into database okay we will write query to insert data into database which is called create and read slash review which is stand for select we will select data from database and we want to show that data on our web browser so we will use read and review or select queries in our code okay and the third is update as we know update means we can update the data from the database using of update query so it's called update and the delete as we know we can delete data from database using of delete queries so that's why it's called delete so the short form of create read update delete is crud so don't be confused which is this is the basic operations every programmer should learn how can we create read update delete the data from the database so let's go for the practical hey guys now we are in the practical section so now we are going to create a new project with name will be crud okay so what we should do first we know we need to start server okay we can start server from here okay apache but now we are going to create a database application with mysql crud means create read update delete so we will use the queries for insert the data select the data and update the data and delete the data so we need to start this mysql also because we are working now with database okay so i have started both apache and mysql now i'm going to open the text editor which we are using we are using a bracket text editor uh, you can see here all the old files or basic files which we have learned in last videos okay so i'm going to close all the i'm close i'm going to close this project okay so first step is we need to create a folder we will create a folder and computer then go c drive where our exam server or exam server is installed and the directory of exam server is in c drive and in c drive here is exam folder and in exam folder here is ht docs you can see here all of my projects uh, in previous video will work in this project php basics okay we have write lots of code we have learned array cookie data data types and lots of thing in previous project okay so now in this project we are going to learn the crud so i am going to create a new folder here which name is crud okay and you can see here the directory or the path where i am creating this new folder or uh, this new folder means a new project okay so minimize this and open this crud okay and cut this file and now you can see here 
so here I am going to create a new file which name will be first I need to save this uh, so the name index.php okay so our first file is index.php in credit project uh, index this is index file okay uh, let's save so let's see the live preview of this file from this button okay you can see here but maybe you will face a error this file will not open by clicking on this live preview button so for this problem you need to copy your project URL for example this URL and we need to copy this URL and go to file and we can set a project uh, project URL from this but from this option project setting okay so here you are able to see a uh, live preview base URL is and now local host crud okay so uh, the project setting is already set just like this you can paste or if you are working if you will like to work with PHP beginners so you can set uh, PHP beginners here but now we are working with crud we are working on crud project so I give here this URL okay so we will able to see the live preview of our files or project files okay so done now I am able to see our file here okay so we are working for a database application so we need to create a database also okay so from here we can open localhost and php my admin okay you can see here uh, this is php my admin you can open from this url localhost then php my admin okay here we can create a new database go to database and we can give here database name so i am giving this crud crud underscore db okay then create so now the database crud underscore db is created okay so from here we can give the table name okay and number of column on that table okay so i am giving the table name is tbl underscore product and i am going give three for columns number of columns three first is for id second is for product name and third is for product price okay let's click on go button okay now you can see here uh, our table underscore tbl underscore product is created so the first i can take id and the it will be integer type and this it will be auto increment and primary okay and it will be a primary and the second will i take i will take product name and third i will take product price okay and both are type of varchar and I can give length here 255 for example 255 okay length value of the varchar uh, means 255 of characters it can take or it can store inside the database okay and now save You can see here our database and table is created now id product name and product price okay so the column name is uh, first column name is id and second is product name and third is product price id is auto increment and the primary key okay so let's go for the code uh, here is our project which name is crud and a file which is index.php so now I am going to create a new file which name will be 
uh, first I need to save and I will save with DB connect with the name of DB connect because this file we will use to connection the database okay so in DB connect we can write code for connection uh, from our database to a PHP application using of PDO okay So okay, what I have done here, uh, let me explain you. Uh, first I need to save the file, uh, save, and the connection is successful, you can see here, okay. Uh, I create a file which name is dbconnect.php for database connection, and I create a connection using of PDO, you can see here I create a variable dollar PDO and I use this new and the method of PDO and in this method I took three parameters here uh, this is first parameter and this is second and this is third okay in first parameter I wrote this MySQL uh, because we are working with MySQL database that's why I uh, define here MySQL if we work with Oracle or IBM or Informix so we need to uh, define here uh, those database name okay and uh, we use localhost so I give here localhost you can see here uh, we are working uh, with localhost that's why I give here localhost and our DB name uh, I give here crud underscore db that is our uh, crud underscore db this is our database name okay and this is root and this third parameter is for password okay I am not set any password for my local host that's why I leave it blank and the default username of local host is root that's why I give here root and you can see here our database name is crud you can see here okay uh, so that's why I define here crud underscore db for db name uh, the connection is successful okay so if you have any problem you can ask me the question uh, so in this next video we will work with insert query we will insert the data into the database okay so see you in next video uh, welcome back my dear students so in last video i have shown you about the database connection we have created a database file which name was dbconnect.php to create a database connection with our projects okay so now in this video I'm going to show you how can we insert data into the database using of insert query so in last video I have created these two files dbconnect.php and index.php now we are going to work on index.php okay so first I comment this line uh, ego connection successful let's save uh, okay so go to index.php in here php pdo credit operation so first here i will write code for html form so simple uh crud then save okay uh so this is the title you can see here okay uh in body of HTML code I can give here a form okay I am creating a form and in form I define a method which will be post okay uh, now in form I need to create two fields okay fields which will be type of uh, sorry text and 
I will copy and paste it again. Uh, text this is a type of text. I can give here the name of this field. For example, txt uh, name and txt price. Okay, uh, we don't need of ID now. So I remove this. Uh, then I need a button. So input type submit. Okay, value I am giving save. Okay, and name btn save. Okay. Hit save. Yes, you can see here. Uh, I can give here also the placeholder. Placeholder, for example, name. Example product name. And here I can also give placeholder. And for example, product price. Let's save. Yes, you can see here product name and product price. Then our button save. So this is our form. You can see here a simple form is in HTML. Okay. Uh, this attribute name we will use in PHP code in our PHP code. Okay. Uh, these name attribute uh, which is text price txt price. Uh, I give name txt name txt means text field okay uh, txt is a short form which i call for text field and btn is a short now which i call for button which is btn so don't be confused uh, let's go for the php code we can write the php code above the html code okay uh, first we need to include our database file so how can we include we uh, studied about or I I taught you in previous videos how can we include a file in PHP so from include and in include I can define here DB connect dot PHP okay and after include I will check I will get data from both fields okay from the first field text field and from the second field so how can we take data simple first i create a variable which name is uh, for example p name we are giving p name means product name in product name we can take the value of this text field using of post variable okay how can we take uh, for example we can pass our text field name attribute here so what is the name attribute of our text field first text field which is txt name copy this and we can paste it here okay and just like this I can copy and I am creating a new variable here for example I can create p price product price and same uh, we can take a value from post variable for example price okay you can see here this txt price which is second text field name attribute okay so now when we click on save button so how can we check uh, we can click on save button how can we click and how can we set a save button uh, using of if condition okay uh, we can use if here uh, simple if and if inside the if I can use is set okay so from is set we can check our our button is set or not okay from post variable for example again I can take post and from this post variable I can give here name btn save okay uh, so you can see here our button name attribute is btn save okay so 
this is open brace and this is the close brace of uh, our uh, if if condition okay so uh, I am copying these both lines and paste inside these okay for checking the value uh, in, uh, of these variables so we can check using of echo echo I can echo uh, for example name first name then I can concatenate this variable then again concatenate and a, a string for example price and then dollar price okay then terminate let's save so I am giving a value in this field for example first I am giving Samsung then for example $800 then click on the save button it should be show both the value of text fields yes you can see here name samsung and price 800 dollar okay so it's working now it's working correctly we have checked so cut this line and save again okay so what i have done here i just i use uh, if condition is set and I check a button is set or not if our button is set then I take a value from text field from first text field and from second text field in both variables for first from first text field in this variable and second in from this variable and you can see here I echo both variable here this variable and this second variable okay so now we need to write a query how can we insert data into the database so simple uh, you can see here our database our database is crud underscore db and our table name is tbl underscore dot tbl underscore product okay so let's write code for insert the query simple I use a if condition again here if and else okay and in if condition I check empty uh, I check if both the variable is empty not empty first take not empty how can we use not empty by this sign you can see here iota okay I am checking if our both variable uh, first is dollar p name paste and or oper end operator I can use here end operator here and after the end operator I am pasting second variable which is dollar price okay we are checking here both if both variable are not empty then perform this task inside this open and close brace so we will write code here first I create a variable insert uh, then dollar pdo then hyphen and greater than sign and inside I can write a query
so let's save our application is working or not okay so it show insert successful first i cut this and open a refresh file okay and it is a refresh file i can fill here for example mac and the price product name is mac and mac pc for example and the price one thousand dollar okay now let's save click on save button insert successful let's check into the database are values inserted or not click on browse oh you can see here on the third place third id mac pc is inserted now okay so our insertion is successful again let's check uh for example i can insert a tablet okay and the tablet uh, sams for example samsung tablet and the price would be twelve hundred dollar or according to your currency according to your country you can take any currency okay uh, for example now i'm going to click on save button uh, so insert successful let's check browse again you can see here on the fourth id uh, this id is auto increment so one two three and the fourth place our product is inserted samsung tablet and on second column is 1200 okay so if i leave both field is blank then what will happen fields are empty okay so let's go for the code what could i wrote first you can see here uh here uh, from here i am going to explain you in both variable we already taken the value from both text fields uh first in if condition you can see here i check i use if condition here you can see that and here i use empty method in this empty method i am checking both variable are empty or not okay uh, means both variable if both variable is not empty okay i am checking here if both variable are not empty means if both variable contain some value then execute this line of code okay this statement okay so what is happening in this line of code here i create a variable dollar insert and i write query for insert the data into database i take a variable dollar pdo and i use hyphen and greater than sign here this is the syntax of pdo and i write here a prepared statement instead of query method okay i wrote here prepared statement prepared method and in this prepare method i wrote a query insert into tbl product okay tbl product and in this tbl product there are three columns but i use two column here id is auto increment so it will increment automatically and you can see here this is the first second column name product name and product price okay and here i use value in values i use place holders this is the new method okay of prepared statement you can see here then i use insert then hyphen then greater than sign and then a method bind param in bind param these placeholder i use here name and in second parameter i pass that variable from which variable i want to insert the value so you can see here from this variable i want to insert value in that column of database okay and in second product price and for product price i use this placeholder price and you can see here in second line and bind param method i use this placeholder you can see here this placeholder price and this placeholder price we can take any name for the placeholder for example name one two three and one two three three as you want okay so cut this but both the uh, name should be same here and here okay uh, and you can see here in second parameter i took this variable okay uh, dollar price and after this i execute i use execute method here then after execute method i use 
a condition here okay if insert row count method i use row count method row count method is used uh, to check a database row are affected or not a row count method we can use insert the data and update the data and in delete the data and in both queries or all the queries we check into the database the database rows are affected or not if row is affected then it show a message insert successful okay if row are not affected the row count method told us insert fail insertion fail okay so you can see here our data is inserted then these uh, row count uh, method show and give the response and return value these uh, date uh, database rows are affected so we will see on the browser these message insert successful okay otherwise we will see these message insert fail and you can see here this condition we are checking both the variables contain value or not if it does not provide value in text field then this statement will run fields are empty okay so these are all the code of insert data into the database i hope you got it if you have any problem you can ask me the question okay so you can see here the message fields are empty uh, this message if we left the fields is empty if we give any value here for example xyz and price one two three then insert successful okay so this is all about the insert data into the database so see you in next video hey welcome back my dear student this is Mohammad Fezan and in last video I have shown you about the insert data into database uh, now in this video I'm going to show you how can we select data from database and show on the browser okay let's go how can we select data from database uh, first I want to show you the database here you can see here in our database our table name is tbl underscore product and here are four records you can see here okay Samsung Galaxy MI tablet MacBook and Apple iPad and the price of date products okay so how can we fetch that data by coding in PHP and show on the browser so let's start simple you can see here I wrote code for PHP here before uh, and above on the HTML form okay but for retrieve the data or fetch the data or select the data I am going to write code after the HTML form okay so here I take a HR this is a HTML take HR for separate the page let's save you can see here our page is separate by a horizontal line okay so now here I can write PHP code simple first I create a variable which name is select okay and then I use dollar pdo this is an object which we have created in our database file you can see here this is a variable which type of object of database okay and after this after this I can use this object operator here okay for calling the method or functions of the object then prepare I use prepare here and in this prepare I can write the query for select select asterisk from dbl underscore product okay then terminate the line okay and after this I can execute uh, dollar select and I can call this object from this object operator hyphen then greater than sign uh, execute method execute and then terminate okay then I create a 
variable which name row and by this row we can take value of this var object variable which is select uh, I use here a method which is called fetch okay then terminate the line and I can print these I use print underscore r method here and in this print method I call these row okay so you can see here now the row variable is array type let's save what will be the output uh, you can see here I hope you got why I use this horizontal line here okay uh, you can see here the array ID and the product name and the product price so I think I should use here a echo and in echo I can use a pre tag pre HTML tag then let's save yeah you can see here the uh, array first is ID second is product name and third is product price okay so we have fetch a single row now okay you can see a single row of id1 uh, you can see here in database this is our single row first row on id1 Sam uh, product name is samsung galaxy and product price is 1200 and you can see here both types of array first is associative array and second is indexed array okay uh, and on second you can see the both type of array here uh, this is the key of associative array and this is the value and this is the index of index array and this is the value of index array okay uh, so this is the single record how can we get out all the records instead of single record so for getting out all the record we use while loop okay so how can we use while loop simple uh, here I write while and in while loop in while here here I can pass the condition simple I will pass this line of code okay copy and remember not the semicolon okay uh, we should not the copy semicolon and paste it here okay then I can copy this print underscore r method and paste inside the while loop so you can see uh, the while loop and let's save yes so you can see the result here on the browser all the fourth row from the database you can see here there are four records inside the database which I have fetched out on the browser the first record and the second record third record and the fourth record using a while loop okay so you can see here so what I have done here simple I create a variable which is object type and I use this object p dollar pdf from the database uh, and prepared a query select a string from table product okay then I execute the query for using of this execute method and I use a pre tag here for separate the array and I use a while and this condition I create a dollar row a variable here and I create a dollar select object here and object operator here I use object operator and I use fetch method this is a fetch method which we use to fetch out the data from the database on the browser okay then we know what is the use of print underscore r function then we use print underscore r function to fetching out the data from the database okay so in next videos I will show you how can we separate associative array and index array separately okay uh, and I will also show you how can we show this data into a HTML table so I hope you got this what I am saying in this video lecture if you have any problem you can ask me so see you next video
hey friends welcome back in the last video i have shown you how can we select data from database i have taught you how can we use a select query in php and mysql using of pdo okay so now in this video i am going to show you about the pdo class constant okay how can we use pdo class constant in fetch method so let us start uh, we can define inside fetch method the pdo class constant so how many types of class constant uh, for example uh, first i take pdo for example pdo then i use here scope resolution operator okay then fetch fetch underscore both so this is default if i save you can see the same result here okay uh, if I use instead of both a num then what will be the output let's save yeah you can see here uh, indexed array okay 0 1 2 3 we can see the indexes or number from here and uh, value of this of that indexed okay so you can see here uh, i use fetch underscore num for getting the result into a indexed array okay uh, if i want to uh, get out a single record so i can echo then dollar row then square base and i can pass here zero okay then terminate let's save what will be the result one two three four okay if i use here a uh, concatenate i can concatenate it concatenate by a br take so what will be the result let's save you can see here on zero index the uh, id value is one two three four if i call index one then there should be result product name let's save yes you can see here on zero index samsung galaxy index one and index two and index three okay so this is for the num and i command this line okay and i write here message for fetch num then if i use here first i uncomment this print under, underscore r method uh, the third is asoc okay we can use fetch underscore asoc here for associative array okay so let's save let's see the result yes uh, now you can see here this is associative array you can see here we are separating associative array and number array numeric indexed array by using these class constant of pdo okay if we are not using this for example again i save then what will be the result you can see here the mixture of associative array and index array okay so we can separate it indexed or associative array by using these class constant of pdo okay so this is the class constant of pdo which is fetch underscore asoc so what will be the result let's save yeah now you can see our array is an associative array okay uh, this is the key and this is the value of associative array this is the key and this is the value of associative array so how can we get out a single record of a database or array so let's echo for example dollar row and in dollar row i can give product name e this key okay this key i can paste it here okay then terminate let's save what will be the result you can see here uh, first i need to comment the print underscore r method and let's again save you can see here samsung galaxy 
एम आई टेबलेट मैकबुक एंड एप्पल आई पेड ओके एंड बी आर टेक लेट सेव यू कैन सी हर द वैल्यू ऑफ द की द की इज प्रोडक्ट नेम एंड द वैल्यू इज सैमसंग गैलेक्सी एम आई टेबलेट मैकबुक एंड एप्पल आई पेड ओके बिकॉज वी आर गिविंग इन साइड द वाइल्ड लूप सो डेट्स वाइल शो ऑल द रिकॉर्ड्स ओके सो दिस इज फोर फैच ए सॉक नाउ आई कमेंट दिस ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्लास कॉन्सेंट ऑफ पी डी ओ इज फैच अंडर स्कोर ऑब्जेक्ट ओ बी जे ओके लेट्स एंड कमेंट प्रिंट अंडर स्कोर आर मैथड एंड लेट सेव so see here this is the type of standard class object okay so how can we get out a single record using of fetch object uh, class constant of pdo simple uh first i comment this and echo dollar row then object operator and i can call this key here and then terminate uh but i can concatenate a br tag here okay let's see what will be the result you can see here samsung galaxy again uh, the product name mi tablet macbook apple ipad okay so these are all the method to get out a single record you can see here okay and now let's save so i prefer this class constant of pdo to fetch out the data because uh, there is no need to give a square bracket or a single colon single quote okay so we can get out a single record or using of this syntax and this syntax we can use for fetch a sock class of constant and this syntax we can use for the indexed array okay so this is all about the pdo class constant i hope you got this what i am saying okay uh if you have any problem you can ask me the question uh in next video i will show you about the fetch all method okay so see you in next video hey welcome back my dear students in last video i have shown you about the different types of fetch modes how can we fetch data from database different type on the browser okay so now in this video i am going to tell you about the fetch all method okay how can we use fetch all method first i copy this line and cut from here and i am i cut all the code from here of while loop then i paste that line and i remove this and then terminate you can see here in last video we used this fetch method but in this video i am going to show you fetch all method about the fetch all method okay so you can see here we get all the data in dollar row variable then we can use print underscore r method here to show the arrays value okay i can pass here dollar row then save let's save yes you can see here the result Ah, uh, you can see here it is a multi-dimensional array, array inside the array. Okay, you can see here on zero index there is an array, and on one index there is an array, and on two index there is an array. Okay, so what is the use of this fetch all method? So the difference is uh, of using fetch all method is in last video we used while loop. Okay, in while loop. 
their every records uh, execute one by one okay but after using of fetch all method we can uh, fetch all the method directly without any loop okay so if we compare while loop and fetch all method then fetch all method is fast okay it execute fast the code and it fastly show the data on the browser from the server okay so that's why when we require to fetch out all the data from our database table so we use this fetch all method instead of while loop okay uh, in this fetch all method we can also use fetch modes uh, or class constant of pdo uh, like pdo then scope resolution operator and fetch underscore for example soc okay let's save and see the result you can see here uh, this is a associative array okay if I pass here num for index array then it will show us a index array okay you can see the index of an array of first row 0 1 2 okay and we can also use obj for object type array let's save Yes, you can see a standard class this is the object type of array so what we learn in this video we learn how can we use fetch l method instead of while loop okay so i hope you got this see you in next video hey welcome my dear student in the last video i have shown you about the fetch all method uh, now in this video I am going to show you how can we create a HTML table and how can we show our database data into a HTML table okay so first I need to create or first I need to write HTML code for HTML table so first I am going to comment this PHP code okay uh, you can see here uh, the last PHP code I commented here and now let's save okay so in the HTML form inside the HTML form I can write code for HTML table okay so after the form I use a br tag here and after br tag here I take table and id is equal to i can take product table okay uh, so here i can take t head and after t head i can take t body means table body okay and in t head i can take th copy and here I can give ID and here I can give product name okay and after this I can give here product price and after this I can give caption for edit button add it and sorry I can uh, give here edit and I can give here delete okay so let's save what will be the output okay you can see here uh, so let's remove HR okay and then save yes so this is our table head and after table head we can give the body inside the t body tag okay so here i can write code for php so let's start php uh, simply i can copy this php code first i copy and cut 
then remove this and I can paste inside T body this PHP code okay so simple so here we take a query select a strict from TBL underscore product then execute okay uh, cut this uh, first copy this method okay and cut this code I use while loop here okay while and in while we can pass this condition and um, PDO then a scope resolution operator then F E T C H or B J okay so now in the while loop body we can write HTML code inside the echo statement okay so in echo we can give here So let's save yes you can see the output uh, but I think uh, I need another TD uh, TD and again close TD okay and inside the TD I need to write this button code I copy and cut this button code and I paste here okay and then I copy and cut from here and I can paste it here okay so let's save yes you can see the output here okay So let me explain what I have done here. Uh, first, inside the form, I create a table, HTML table, HTML code for table. Okay, and inside table, I create the head of table. It is a HTML tag T head. You can see here it is opening here and it is closing here. And inside, I write th and th inside the th I give the heading of the table. You can see here ID, product name, product price, edit and delete so this is edit id product name product price edit and delete okay you can see here the headline and inside the body then i open a take t body and this t body is close just above the closing the table okay so inside the t body i write php code here i write a query for select and i execute this query and i use simple while loop okay and while loop I fetch out the data using fetch mode of object fetch object okay you can see here I echo here I echo the values which I fetch from the database then I show these values in TD and say the TR so TR and TD is, is the tag of HTML table okay and here in TD I also create a button HTML button you can see here in last videos I, sh I have shown you how can we show the data in fetch object fetch underscore object mode okay so you can see here the syntax simple I pass dot dollar row and then hyphen then uh, greater than sign then ID then product then product price okay so you can see here uh, this is the code for getting the data into the HTML table okay so simple inside the button I give this ID value in value attributes why because we are using post method 
when we click on edit button so we will use this id to check whether which row i want to affect or which row i want to edit okay that's why we give row id here so in next videos we will work on this button edit and date how can we edit the data and delete the data okay i hope you got it and if you have any problem you can ask me the question so see you in next video hi welcome back my dear students in this video i'm going to show you how can we work on edit button okay you can see here in our html table here are two buttons first is edit and second is for delete okay so how can we work with edit button so what will be the process for edit button uh, when we click on edit button it will show both values of product name and product price on the text field okay and then we can update that values of our product name and product price okay so how can we do this let me show you uh, first i want to give border of our table so how can give the border of our table of our html table simple i use border and i will give here a numeric value then save okay and now you can see here our form our form starting tag is this and close tag is this but i want to keep all the code of html table inside the form okay so it is must to keep the code of php or table inside the form okay so first i copy and this is the uh, end tag of table and i copy and cut from here and i paste here okay let's save i can give another br okay uh because i want to some horizontal distance here save yes okay and now what we need to do first we will give uh the name attribute of our button okay you can see here the code of our button edit and delete so here i am giving name attribute so for edit i give here btn edit edit okay and same for delete name and i give here btn delete okay then this attribute we use in our php code okay you can see here btn edit so i copy this btn edit and go above the code this other form okay so from here we can write code for edit button uh let us start with php and inside php i give here a if condition okay if then else simple and as we know we use a set to check our button is set or not use of dollar post variable okay so inside i can pass the ptn edit which i copy from the button code okay so now in this if condition i write code i can write code for query okay so simple uh, you can see here our query we can copy from here just i copy this query uh, just i paste here simple you can see it is a select query but i need to here add a where clause okay uh, select extract from tbl product where id is equal to dot 
dollar underscore post square bracket and in a square bracket I can pass uh, btn edit okay so it's complete now I remove this while from here and and remove this code okay so let's check by print underscore r method print underscore r okay and we can check this dollar row paste here let's save uh, syntax error unexpected print r so print underscore r what is unexpected uh, i forgot semicolon okay so let's again save yes okay so let's open a fresh file cut this and click on this live preview now here you can see our data if i click on this second mi for example third macbook okay then the data should be show on here okay you can see uh, id3 product name macbook and product price 800 so this data i want to show inside the text field okay so how can you do this simple uh, uh command this first print underscore r then here i will use uh, if condition again if and inside if i will pass this select variable okay and inside i will copy both the line and paste inside if condition okay so again let's check it's work or not save control s and if i click on apple ipad yeah it's work okay so it's simple don't be confused and now we can show this data inside the text field but first we need to create new text field here and this is our text field for new input new data input new data you can see here okay product name and product price and button is btn save but here i want to create a new button and new text field to show old data okay for update so how can do this simple you can see here else and this is if okay and in else i can echo i can use echo and inside echo i can use this text field and button simple copy and cut and in echo statement i can paste this i can use html inside the php code okay so simple save okay uh, cut this and open a fresh file you can see here our text field for input the new data if i fill this text field and click on save button a new record will insert it but if i click on edit button let's see if i click on this edit button that text field are disappear on the browser okay this condition i use here you can see this print underscore r data here okay so this row data we can show in a new text field in this section you can see here okay otherwise this section will execute this is a false condition so command is line simple and copy both line from here okay don't confuse 
just paste uh, first remove and here I can use echo inside echo I can use both lines okay and an echo I can paste that HTML code okay and I am removing this placeholder from here and also this placeholder and I copy and paste okay the third input I am taking for a hidden field for ID okay so I will show you how I took this hidden text field first let's design the form then we will talk about this field okay and the name attribute will be txt id for this hidden field okay and now we can use here value attribute value okay and inside the value we can pass simple dollar row product name okay simple I can copy this line then product price then here ID okay so you can see simple this echo for update form and this echo statement for fresh data input okay new data input so let's save what will be the output save yes okay cut this and open a new tape you can see here on the first time this line else statement is executing why because we haven't click on this edit button when we click on this edit button then this function or this line of code will execute okay this line of code will execute let's check if I click on this edit button for example I click here yes you can see here now this line of code is execute otherwise this else statement will execute and it will show us a new form to insert new data okay so i use else else if else here okay now the next thing is we need to create a button here for update so simple i can copy this button code from here simple for saving the time and I can paste here the button code okay and inside the button I remove this value okay and this is PTN update and this is PTN cancel update and it is for cancel cancel okay so let's check save yes you can see here update and cancel if I click on edit this edit and this edit and we can work on we can update for example I want to change 1800 from 1800 to 2000 then I will click on this update button this will update this data will update okay so I hope you will get what I done here okay simple in next video we will learn how can we work for this update button so see you in next video
Hi, welcome my dear students. In last video, I have shown you about the edit button. You can see here there is a lots of edit button in our HTML table, and here is the code of that edit buttons. Okay, so in this edit button, we have also created code for the update button and cancel button. You can see here when we click on this edit button, these data automatically set in that fields. Okay. Now here we will able to see update button and cancel button. So this time this update button is not working. Okay, you can see here it is not updated the data. So now in this video I am going to show you how can we write code for this update button. Simple, you can see here the code of this update button. So let us start to write code for update button. Simply I copy the name attribute of this update button from here. and here is the code of our save button and after the save button code i can write code for update button so here i comment out this is and of save button okay so from here we can start to write code for update button simply we use if a statement okay and in if definitely we use a set method for button and inside the set method we use post variable and I paste btn update here okay so let's check our update button is work or not let's see echo update okay let's save yes so if i click on this edit and i click on update yeah my message is up here we can see this message okay so Let's go ahead. Remove this, and here I will take values from text field. For example, you can see here if I click on this edit, uh, the data is appear in the fields. So first we take this data into a variable. So let's take first I create a variable here. For example, uh, I take p name. Okay. And in p name, I will take data using of post variable. Okay, so simple. Here I can pass our text field name. Okay, this text field name or name attribute I will pass here. So let's go and copy. This is our update form. Okay and this is the name attribute and i can copy this name attribute from here i will paste it here okay now let's echo dollar p name let's check save uh, update yes you can see here okay if i click on this edit button and i click on update button it will show this data let's again this is a field value xiaomi max and if i click on update button this will appear above the field okay here okay because i echo this variable okay so let's go ahead mm, cut this and again i create a variable dollar price okay and in price i can take mm, txt price and 
here I will take a third variable for ID okay don't confuse because from this ID we will check which data we want to update okay so simple uh, in this I can pass txt ID so these all three values we have got in these variables okay from where you can see here uh, from first attribute and second attribute and third field attribute is third field attribute is named txt id which is hidden okay so this is hidden id uh, let me show you this i this field if i give here type of text let's save okay uh, now you will able to see this field when i click on edit button yes you can see here okay uh, this is the third field oh, from this field I can get the ID of the product and from this ID will help us to update date product we want to update okay so don't be confused that's why I don't want to show this field here or to the user that's why I keep this field hidden so this is the concept programmer mostly use uh, programmers mostly take ID from the hidden fields let's save okay so now uh, now take again a if condition and else here and inside if I can use a empty method and in empty method i will check both the fields should not be empty okay i use end operator here okay uh, now here i will let's remove these else okay and in this else i can show a message echo fields are empty please fill fields okay so now let's write a query for update the data simple i take a variable update and in this update i will use object of pdu which is variable type and i use prepare method here and in this prepare i can type query update uh, what is the name of our table uh, tbl underscore product update table product and then set uh, product name which is our uh, column name and I will pass here placeholder okay p name then separate by comma and then product price which is also our sec third column name in our table and I will take here uh, again a placeholder okay so now I will pass here where clause because we update if we don't use a where clause it will update all the data okay so remember this point when we write update query it is compulsory to use where clause if you run update query without a where clause so all the data will update so it will create a problem okay so this point is very important so i use here where clause where id is equal to then i concatenate by dollar id okay simple this dollar id i pass here 
now here I use again dollar insert we will insert using of bind param method okay bind param and in bind param and in bind param I will pass this p name okay oh shit this pname and I separate by comma and I pass this first variable okay so because I want to update the product name then again dollar insert and bind param and in bind param i can pass this placeholder price okay for product price simple and in second argument i will pass oh shit again dollar price okay so now terminate by semicolon and now we can execute the query uh we know from which line of from which code we can execute simple again write dollar insert and object operator then use execute method here okay but here we will check our row count method by use of row count method the row of database is affected or not if the row of database is affected then we will show a message to user update successful then update fail okay then in l section we can show a message to user update fail okay so how can we do this simple i use a if condition here again if and else and inside the if we check we we pass this insert dollar insert and object operator and method row count okay and in this section we can show a message to user using of equal statement data update successful okay otherwise we can show message in l section echo uh, update fail okay now our code is completed let's check okay so save yes uh, cut this and open a new file uh, let's click on this ABCD and if I remove this a now click on update oh we get error undefined variable insert line number 47 so first where is line number 47 here undefined variable insert oh shit I use insert and whole code instead of update so simple I copy and I can paste here what the shit is this paste paste okay so <laughs> let's save so our data is uh, updated successful okay so don't make fun what the silly mistake i have done okay so uh, you can see we can update another we let's see if i want to uh, the price of ipad if i want to update the price of ipad for example 900 to 700 then update successful okay uh, 
remove and click on update fields are empty please fill fields okay so our code is running successful so in which condition these uh, these echo will update so how can we see update fail if we do mistake in a query for example i cut these l from the query i write table name uh, which is wrong tb underscore product so let's save uh, and if i update and click on update button this will show us message update fail because our query is wrong our table name is wrong so in this condition this statement will execute or this message will show the user okay so let's save again now our update button is working fine and let's so what i have done here simply first i use a condition if uh, i have i write a condition if and i say it i use is set method here and i check our button is set or not if uh, user click on this button this statement will execute okay so what i wrote in this statement simply i take the values of text fields for example you can see here uh, from first field i take value in this variable and from this field uh, product price field i take value in this variable and uh, here i create a hidden field for id and i took id from txt id in this id dollar id variable then i check uh, our variable if our variable are not empty then execute this line of code okay so here i write query uh, for update the data uh, here i write update table product i set i use set keyword which is used in update query and i set first you can see here the product name of the you can see here this is the product name and i give here a placeholder okay and for the product price i give here a placeholder for product price which is price and i use a where clause here where id is equal to dollar id okay which id which i have taken in the hidden field in this variable okay this variable i pass here then i use simple uh, bind param method and i pass this placeholders p name you can see here this p name and p name and this p name variable here and this p name variable here uh, i take the value from txt name and i pass here and this p name value goes in this placeholder and this placeholder value goes here p name and this value will set in this product name by using of this query update query okay where id is equal to dollar id the same thing i done for product price and then execute okay uh, and i use a if uh, else condition again here i check update using of row count method uh, row count method is used to check the database rows are affected or not definitely if uh, uh, if something will update in the database then uh, this row count method will return some value and if uh, this row count method will return some value then this line of code will execute and we will able to show a message data update successful to the user okay if uh, this row count method return nothing then this will statement execute update fail okay so now the last is you can see here if the both variable are empty means text fields are empty then this echo statement we will show to the user fields are empty please fill fields so these are all about the code of update data in php pdo okay so this type of bind param we use in php pdo because preventing the sql injections so this is very helpful method uh, to prevent our web application from sql injection so i will show you how can we apply sql injection in next videos 
how can we prevent our website from sql injection by using these method of placeholders or pdo or bind param method okay so see you next video hey welcome back my dear students in last video i have shown you about the button update uh, in last video we have wrote the code for update button okay so now in this video i am going to tell you about the delete button and how can we write code for delete button and how can we write code the query for delete data from the database okay so here you can see our html table and data which is coming from the database okay and here is our delete button when we click on this delete button this record should be removed from the html table and also in from the database okay so how can we do this let's start uh, first here i open localhost and php my admin okay and our database name is Mm. Crud db crud underscore db and this is our database and this is our table of database here is the records you can see okay and and also remember one thing your server should be start so our server is running now apache and for mysql okay so let's go for coding section for delete button so here is code for update button so after this update button code we will write code for delete button okay so i comment out a line btn delete code or oh, btn update code and here okay then from here i can write code for delete button simple i take a if else And inside if I use this set method and is set method I use dollar post dollar underscore post and in dollar underscore post I will pass the name attribute of the delete button okay so here is our delete button you can see after the edit button okay this is the name attribute of delete button i copy this okay you can see here uh, this delete button contain row id okay let's go here okay so i paste here bt and delete and inside this if section i will write query simple dollar delete dollar pdo uh, this pdo we write we take from here okay this is the object of our database that's why i use dollar pdo here then operator which operator object operator and in object operator i use method prepare okay and in this prepare i can write query for delete delete from tbl underscore product remember here also we will use where clause if you run only delete from table product or if you can if you delete delete asterisk from table product so it will delete whole the data so remember we should use where clause also here okay so where id is equal to uh, concatenate by dollar underscore post simple btn delete now simple dollar delete and we can execute the method we can use execute method here execute 
then I again use here if else if okay inside if I use this dollar delete okay this dollar delete and object operator and I use row count method here okay then I use echo statement here and an echo data delete data deleted successful okay you can show any message in this echo I can echo delete fail okay and okay delete fail and here in these else I can show a message uh, any message I can show here an echo statement for example error but uh, I'm not using these else because I don't required for these else okay so in if condition or uh, code will run easily okay so let's check the code our code is running successful or not let's save okay there is no error so let's click on delete button and last data deleted successful okay so our data is deleted successful let's check in the database uh, we delete these data on 9th ID AB12. Let's refresh. Yes, it's deleted successful. Okay. So now you can see here what I have done here. Simply I use a if condition and if condition I use a set method which is inbuilt method of PHP and I pass BT and delete using of dollar post variable i check our button delete is click or not if button delete is click then this code will execute okay uh, then here i write a query for delete the data simple delete from table product this is our table name where id is equal to this okay uh, this id coming from the button code okay you can see here this is our our button delete code okay so the value our button delete is contain this value this id okay so from here we are getting id from the button in our query okay uh, then i use execute method of php then execute query here i use if condition again uh, if data is deleted successful then we will be show these message to the user data deleted successful otherwise delete fail okay this is the simple code for delete the data from the database i hope you got this if you have any problem you can ask me and in next video i will show you about the sql injections how can we prevent sql injections and how can we apply sql injection in query method okay so see you in next video